Jadavian Clowney has signed with the Baltimore Ravens on a one-year contract. Let's talk about it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content every single day, and it's pretty good news. And I found my bucket hat, and it's two great things that have happened this week. Ravens signed Clowney, the TTB, the Trust the Bank bucket hat, um, is making a reappearance. It's been a while since I've worn this. My goal is to try and wear this whenever there's good news um, because I think it's a lot of fun. I love the bucket hat. Obviously, we know Lamar signature bucket hat in the Pro Bowl and everyone started clowning on him. It's like, yo, you're wearing a bucket hat? Chill out. But the bucket hat is making a return. And I'm going to be talking about this Jadavian Clowney deal. I'm very happy with this. I was at work. Um, I saw it happen and I was super excited. Also, Bradley Roby was signed yesterday by the Ravens. I'm very happy with that as well. Um, Joshua and I had our... Um, podcast segment that came out yesterday and was talking about corners we didn't mention ronald darby um, we didn't directly address the uh position um like assigning him uh, because it was recorded on wednesday but you know quickly on that very happy with it good move um we'll see how the ravens move from here but in terms of jay davy and Clowney, looks like a one year up to six million dollar contract um and it's something where it's exactly what we needed a late addition to the off season and we get a player at a premier position. I think I think edge rusher is the most important position on the defense. I don't think it's linebacker. I don't think it's safety. I don't think it's corner. I don't think it's defensive tackle. I think it's edge rusher. And Jadamian Clowney is not a sack machine, right? He's not Justin Houston. That's not the role that I think the Ravens are expecting out of him. Remember when we signed Justin Houston, he he was coming off of like a 10 sack season, um, you know, a couple seasons before. And so it was like, okay, we can get that big time production at the pass rusher. And we did. I think we got pretty good production, just as about as good as you could have expected from Justin Houston. Clowney isn't that type of player. Jadavian Clowney, a lot of people look at him as a bust. I disagree with that wholeheartedly. Maybe I just have a different definition of bust. But he got drafted, and he is, I mean, he's played like eight, nine years in the NFL. He had, he had one or two years where he was injured. But, I mean, he's been a full-time starter on every defense that he has basically been a part of. Um, and he's played for multiple teams. Obviously, he didn't turn into, you know, Lawrence Taylor. But he's been a very solid defensive player for the most part of his career. He made three Pro Bowls. He's not a sack guy. He's a stop the run guy. And if anybody knows anything about the Baltimore Ravens is that's what they want to do. They want to make sure that teams can't run on them, force them to throw, and try and get interceptions in the secondary. And it's not typically the corners that get the picks. They want Marcus Williams. They want Kyle Hamilton. They want Chino Stone or Darius Washington. All of those guys, if they try and get over the top, if the defense is able to force a bad throw because of pressure, that's when the Ravens' defense capitalizes. That's how they're able to hold teams. Because when you limit one facet of the game, you're able to make it much more difficult on even that other facet because teams become one-dimensional. And Clowney helps a lot with stopping the run. And I saw somebody um, say that they, they're they expecting him to maybe play the Jason Pierre-Paul role, right? Because Justin Houston was out there a lot. I expect you, Damian Clowney, to rotate in and out with um obviously David Ojabo and Adafe away but I think mostly it'll be Adafe I think David Ojabo is the pass rusher um that the Ravens have that they want to be that pure pass rusher whether or not he is yet to be determined but Adafe away right now is a run stopping you know defensive end or outside linebacker he's an edge rusher that's what he is and Jadavion Clowney is another one where they're both freak athletes. And if you're able to give each other rest and reputation, you're going to be much more, much stronger, much faster every time you go out there because you're getting rejuvenated. Because offensive linemen don't get subs. Edge rushers do. And so having two guys that are just freaky, strong, and fast that can rush the passer consistently throughout an entire game, I think is very valuable because they can also stop the run. Right, They are not true pass rushers. They are run-stopping outside linebackers that are able to then rush the passer. Right, That's what Matthew Judon is. Matthew Judon's great at it. He might be the best in the NFL as a run-stuffing outside linebacker, but he can also rush the passer. And that's what the Ravens are trying to replicate is that Matthew Judon type of you know, player in you know, money ball style two players. Right? 
How do you replicate the seasons that he had for the Ravens at the end of his Ravens career? You get multiple players and sub them in and out and try and get that energy, try and get those stops up. He's also wearing number 24. That's an interesting one. <laughs> um, I, I'm pretty surprised by that. I really like it. I love obscure numbers. 24, I, th- I made a joke to, to my buddies in a group chat, and I said, he's wearing 24. Might as well buckle up and play corner. Um, we need some We need some guys out there. <laughs> but I think he's, he's in a really good spot where it's like, okay, you got an interesting number. You're coming to a situation that you're familiar with the team because you've played them so often coming from Cleveland, but you're also familiar with uh, Anthony Weaver. Um, you were with him in Houston, and you're able to just kind of Find a team that's going to embrace you for the player that you are. I don't think the Ravens are looking at him as, oh, yeah, he's going to come in and, you know, match his career high nine and a half sacks from 2017. But, I mean, even in 2021, playing opposite Miles Garrett, he put up nine sacks. So, recently, he's been playing with a very good pass rusher and being a good number two. And David Ojabo, the hope is that he becomes a number one. But at least now... Teams know Clowney, and they know, okay, sometimes you do have to double Clowney in certain situations. And if that happens, that helps out David Ojabo. Because the Ravens just having a vet in that pass rusher room, a vet that is is, is generally respected. I mean, a three-time Pro Bowler is going to garnish respect from opposing head coaches. That's just going to help out your team. He's, he's a hard worker. I know he doesn't love practice, but he's definitely a hard worker in the game. He chases down the ball. He goes cr- you know, he, he just attacks the football. He's one of the most iconic college football players of all time. We all know that. But I'm very happy with this signing. I think it's really going to help out the defense. I know a lot of people might have been saying, $6 million, why didn't we go after a corner? I think it's because the Ravens trust their cornerback room, and they had a plan all off season, which was, at the end, sign an edge rusher. That's what they've done the last three years with Houston and then Houston and JPP and now Jadavian Clowney. They like these late additions and usually these late additions pan out pretty well. Let me know in the comment section down below your guys' thoughts on Jadavian Clowney. Hit the like for the bucket hat. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see all of you again tomorrow. I forgot to say subscribe to. Do that as well.